Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. Thanks to this video sponsor, Elegoo, I was able to build this miniature Iron Man Hall of Armor as seen in the Iron Man movies using my brand new 3D printer, the Neptune 4 Plus. As you can see, I recently moved into a new workshop and I really wanted something new and fresh to display. And with Iron Man being my favorite superhero, sorry Batman, this was the perfect idea. So to be clear, I designed and printed only the display cases. The actual Iron Man figures were purchased and they are from the brand ZD Toys. They're really accurate and detailed figures and I highly recommend them. But this video is all about the display cases and the Hall of Armor as a whole and I'm going to show you how I built it. So to kick off this video, let's unbox the Neptune 4 Plus. Oh yeah. So some initial thoughts on the printer before I actually print anything. The overall build quality is great, and honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from Elegoo. The frame really feels sturdy and rigid. I would be surprised if it didn't. And I also love having printers that have the spool holder on top. I generally keep my printers on desks, so having the smallest footprint possible is important for me. One aesthetic thing I like is the color of the frame. It's sort of a steel, bluish gray color that sets it apart from your typical black frames. And also, this is my first 3D printer to have this textured PEI build plate, so I'm really curious to see how well prints adhere to it and how easily they come off. That's going to be a big factor in how much I enjoy the printer. One last impression is I love the touchscreen and the fact that it's magnetic is something that I never thought would be necessary but it's a really nice touch to have that flexibility. So those are my first impressions. Before we can print anything, I gotta design this Hall of Armor. So let's get into it. I had to do a ton of research to get good reference photos for this, mostly by taking screenshots of the movie. And there's never really a clear shot of the whole armory on display, so I had to do a lot of estimating on the dimensions and proportions of it. There actually are quite a few versions of this Hall of Armor already out there to buy, but a lot of them have different proportions and some of the details are different. So of course, I just had to make my own and actually build something that I'm proud of. I used SolidWorks to 3D model the pieces. The design is basically split into two different cases. The first one is a fully complete standalone case that has two slots to install the dividing panels. The second is sort of a middle connecting case that has no sidewalls but will look seamless when connected to the standalone case. This means I can print the standalone cases for individual suit displays or I can print the full set so that I can display three, five, seven or really any odd number of suits. In my case, we're going for movie accuracy so I'm going to be printing seven cases. You can also see I modeled in a natural curve to the overall layout which made modeling this way more challenging but the final effect of that curve really adds to the overall aesthetic and accuracy of the display. Each of these displays have a detachable cap and all pieces have these little holes built in for magnets. So this will make assembly and disassembly very fast and very easy. So now that we have our 3D model complete, let's print this bad boy. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? I used a version of Cura that's specifically made for Elegoo printers and it actually came on the flash drive with a printer. As usual, you have all the flexibility to fine tune your settings, but I like to click as few buttons as possible when I print, so I use the presets for standard print. The large build volume and extremely fast print speeds of this Neptune 4 Plus really made this project a breeze. It's the perfect size for printing large pieces while still keeping a sleek and small footprint to fit on any desktop. I actually printed these on a normal setting, not the super high quality settings, but not the draft speed. And as you can see, they came out really nice with smooth surfaces with minimal layer lines showing. The textured PEI build plate is probably the easiest I've ever had to work with on any of my printers. As you can see here, the prints pop right off with very little force and that really makes the printing experience a hundred times better. So now that we have all of our pieces printed, let's start assembling. I'm using 8mm by 2mm magnets and all I need to do is add a drop of super glue into the holes and snap the magnets in. I do this on both the main body pieces as well as the caps. Okay. 
And you'll also notice that I have these slits here. These are for a white strip of plastic that will act as the divider as seen on the real Hall of Armor. So I just cut out these eighth inch thick pieces of HDPE using some metal shears and then they just slide right into the slits like this. And now that we have all of our pieces built and assembled, we can start setting up the display. The magnets make this process very quick and simple, as you can see. All we have to do is snap pieces together and they align perfectly with each other. Now for adding lights, I bought these mini LED lights on Amazon. It took me a while to find these, but these are basically lights for, I think, necklaces or even like putting inside of balloons. And each one comes with its own battery and its own switch so you can turn it on and off pretty easily. You can tie them around your neck and party with them, or you can put them into an Iron Man Hall of Armor, whichever one you choose. But I modeled a little hole in the top of the cap that these fall perfectly into. And now we can light up each display individually. Now here comes the fun part, putting all of the Iron Man figures into the display. I even modeled in two little tabs here that fit into the boots of the Iron Man figures and that helps them stay upright a little better. And because this is going to be one of the main display pieces in my new workshop, I mounted a 40 inch long shelf onto my wall. And this will be the new home for my Iron Man Hall of Armor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, huge thank you to Elegu for sponsoring this video and helping me build one of my coolest display pieces with the Neptune 4 Plus. If you're new to 3D printing or an advanced user, you will not regret getting this printer. So make sure you check out all of the links in the description below. As always, feel free to like and comment on this video and also feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.